Okay, we're going to demonstrate how to install a speedometer calibrator uh, universal kit onto a motorcycle. For this example, we're going to say that this side goes to the motorcycle wire harness, and this side is going to the motorcycle gauge cluster. We've got our universal calibrator harness here, and what we've done is, this is a speed signal wire. For this example, we're, we're using yellow. Color may vary on motorcycle. So we've gone ahead and we've interrupted it. We, just, we made a cut. We're going to strip. Both ends. Okay. We're going to install these four millimeter Japanese style bullet connectors. These are a nice high quality connector. Honda still uses these types of connectors on some of their motorcycles today, so it's a good connector for an individual connection. Makes a good quality connection. So this is the gauge side, for our example, and the gauge side connects to the blue wire. Now, anytime you have live voltage on a wire, an output, for example, you should use a female, because the female has a sleeve that completely covers it. An input that does not have live voltage on it, you would use a male. A male is exposed, so it gives protection to the live to the live wires. So because the blue is an output and it's got a live voltage on it, we're going we're going to install this. Now if you don't have the proper crimp tools, you could even solder these on here. You could use a pair of pliers to crimp the wings. uses an open barrel crimper. Before you crimp it, you'll want to make sure you slide your sleeve on. That's the female sleeve. <sighs> it's another style crimper an open barrel type crimper. Again, if you don't have a proper crimper, you could use a pair of pliers and fold the wings over. Or you could solder it. It's better to use an open barrel crimper tool if you have it. Okay. So, that's the output. We've got a female on there, and it's going to connect to the gauge side. So we're going to put a male on the gauge side. Let's slide a male sleeve over that. Put the terminal. Okay. So that would plug in there. Whenever you're working on a motorcycle, you should make sure that the voltage is off. Make sure your key is off. Now the white wire is going to go towards the motorcycle harness. So the white wire side, because this is going to have live voltage, this is an output, so we should put a female on this. Because this is going to be feeding a signal into the input of our calibrator harness. So because this has voltage on it, this is an output coming from the harness. And what we're doing is after we stripped it, we fold the wire. And we folded the wire here. What that does is it gives it a little bit better grip for the crimp. It gives it a little bit better grip. Now this is an input that's going to mate with this one. The input doesn't have voltage on it, which is why we're going to use a male. Again, I'm, I'm folding the wire here. 
holding the wire. It gives us a little bit better grip on our crimp. You can see here the input, this, this terminal would be exposed when it's unplugged. Now we can plug that in. Okay. So now we've got the interrupted signal installed. And these are good factory quality connectors. So now we're going to make our connection to the power. There's a little bit of a trick making the power connection. Now you could cut these and twist them together. We'll do an example both ways. There's another way to do it. You don't actually have to cut it. You can put your stripper tool on it. You can pull it like this. You can just strip the wire without cutting it. So you can strip the wire without cutting it. You can fold it like this. Now because this has voltage on it, we're using a female terminal. We'll slide our female sleeve down. We'll put our female terminal on there. Slide our sleeve back up. There we go. Now we've got, we didn't actually cut the wire here. We just stripped it. We folded it. And then we inserted it. We'll do the same for this one. Now, if the room, if it's kind of tight and you don't have enough room to do this, you can cut it and strip it and then twist the wires together and then crimp it. Let's go ahead and do that on this one for an example. So we'll just go ahead and cut that. We'll strip it. Strip both ends. And we'll twist the wires together. Now because this has voltage on it, we're going to put a female on here. Female terminal will protect against live voltage. Because it has a sleeve that goes around the terminal. So different, different ways of doing it. This one we actually cut, twisted the wires together and crimped it. And this one we didn't do that, we just stripped the wire. Either way is fine. But now we have uh, power connections here. So we'll insert the male onto these. Now these are the power inputs, so there is no live voltage coming out of these. So it's okay to use males for these. As you can see, I forgot to put my sleeve on here first. Which normally that's a problem, but you can muscle the sleeve over the terminal if you have to, or these type of connectors. There we go, got the sleeve on. This time we won't forget, we'll put our sleeve on first. Fold our wire before crimping it. Makes it hold in the crimp better when the wire is folded. Slide our sleeve up. And we're ready to plug in the power.
and these will fit nice and tight. There we go. So we have our speedometer calibrator harness installed. And it's a nice, nice, solid connection. Now we do recommend, you know, motorcycles vibrate. These sleeves could vibrate down. We do recommend, after getting this installed, make sure that the sleeves are slid on so that there's no metal exposed. And then wrap this with electrical tape. Your bike's probably got three or four miles of electrical tape across the wire harness, so a little bit more will, won't hurt anything. Just wrap this with electrical tape. You can look at how some of the factory harness is wrapped with electrical tape and kind of mimic how they wrap it. And that's it.